conversion between binary and decimal systems. In this example, we will convert a binary number that consists of zeros and ones into a decimal number. This binary number consists of eight binary digits or bits that create one byte. In the first step, write the binary number by separating the binary digits with enough spaces. Each digit in the binary number can be converted into a number of base 2 according to its position. In the second step, list out the powers of 2 for all the digits starting from the rightmost position. Under the first binary digit, the term would be 2 to power 0. Under the second binary digit, the term would be 2 to power 1. And as we move on, it will be 2 to power 2, 2 to power 3, 2 to power 4, and will continue until we get, in the last binary digit, 2 to power 7. In the next step, evaluate each term. The value of 2 to power 0 will be 1, and the value of 2 to power 1 will be 2. Continue until the last digit where the value of 2 to power 7 will be 128. Last, select the values of 1's binary digits and add them to get the decimal value. The decimal value of the binary number 10011010 is equal to 154. Here is another example of two bytes binary number. Again, in the first step, write the binary number by separating the binary digits with enough spaces. In the second step, list out the powers of two for all the digits starting from the rightmost position. Under the first binary digit, the term would be two to power zero. Under the second binary digit, the term would be two to power one. And as we move on, it will be 2 to power 2, 2 to power 3, and will continue until we get in the last binary digit, 2 to power 15. In the next step, evaluate each term. The value of 2 to power 0 will be 1, and the value of 2 to power 1 will be 2, and the value of 2 to power 2 will be 4. Continue until the last digit where the value of 2 to power 15 will be 32,768. Then select the values of one's binary digits and add them to get the decimal value. The decimal value in this example is 6,862. To convert decimal to binary, Start with the decimal in a question and divide it by two keeping notice of the quotient and the remainder. In this example, we have the decimal value 77. Start by dividing 77 by two to get the quotient 38 and the remainder one. Then divide the quotient 38 by two again to get a quotient value of 19 and the remainder zero. Continue dividing the quotient by two until you get a quotient value of zero. Now you simply need to write out the remainders in the reverse order by rotating them clockwise. And the result will be 1001101. Since a byte has eight bits, and here we have only seven bits, we can write the remainder of the binary number as zeros on the left side. Now we have 77 in decimal system, can be stored in the computer as 01001101 in binary system. Here is 
Another example to convert from decimal to binary system, the decimal number is 300. The maximum value that can be stored in one byte is 255. Since here we have 300, which is greater than 255, it is expected that we need two bytes to store this decimal number in the computer. Start by dividing 300 by 2 to get the quotient 150 and the remainder 0. Then divide 150 by 2 again to get the quotient value 75 and the remainder 0. Continue dividing the quotient values by 2 until you get the quotient value 0. Now write out the remainders in the reverse order by rotating them clockwise to get the binary number. Since two bytes have 16 bits, and here we have only nine bits, we can write the remainder of the binary number as zeros on the left side. Now we have 300 in decimal system, is stored in the computer as the value that we can see in binary system.